Podcast. Today we're going to be opening up a few of the original Tops Pokemon the First movie trading cards. So I've got four of these. So right now these are relatively cheap. You can get these things anywhere between like $10 and $20 per pack. Uh, there's actually a lot of really good cards in here. You have, if you look closely, you've got die cut cards, uh, which you guys can look those up. Maybe we'll get one of those in the video. Uh, you also have, you know, all the starters, and then you have hollows. So, you know, why am I opening these up? Obviously, is to get them graded. You know, I'm looking for starters, and I'm looking for hollows. But the only thing, the big issue with these packs, which you'll also see, is over time, the cards have stick together. So that's why, if you look at, like, some of the hollows, like, PSA 10s are actually going for a decent amount. Like same, same for, like, the die cuts and stuff. It's actually because it's pretty hard to get. So let's get into it. Maybe we can get some uh, decent grades out of these things. I've actually, I don't know if I've ever even opened up these things. But yeah, you guys are about to see uh, how stuck together these are. One of my friends actually just bought some of these. Uh, he thinks his are going to come out to probably sixes. But we'll see. So you can already see, like, just, it's already just not good. And listen, uh, I didn't do it. Story of Mewtwo. I don't know if you guys can hear that on your end. Just a sticking legend. Ooh, Pikachu. And then the hollow will be coming up after this. The ultimate match. And then a hollow Dawn fan. So not the not the best hollow. Ooh. And then a Dratini. This one's actually pretty good. Let's take a look at it. So let's see. So you see the edging. Yeah, not not that great. And maybe like a dot. A little bit of card issues with this. But not bad. I don't know if this warrants like a, you know, a 10 just because, you know, those little dots. Let me grab some sleeves real quick. But not a bad hollow. Not not one of the big ones, but still one to send off. And then another you know, Dottini, which is pretty cool. It doesn't look like it's in bad shape either. This one, little dot right there. Sit you back there. So either way, those actually weren't stuck together as bad as I thought they would be, so that's good. But I actually bought one pack from one seller and then three from another one. So I don't know which ones are which. I guess I probably should have separated. Alright, so the clones. The invitation. The Tempest. I think there's one. Farewell. And then the insert, which is actually got a bend at the bottom. Then the hollow, which is the invitation again, which is. Let me just pull that one. Yep. So it actually gave us both, non hollow and the hollow. And then, okay. And then we got a Dragonair. So we've pulled both a Dratini and the and the Dragonair. That's pretty cool. And then this hollow, let's see if it looks any better. So I don't know if this is part you know, of the card or damage. I can't really can't really tell. There's another one on the back of his thing. But other than that, not bad condition. Like I said, I just don't know if those are part of the card or if that's something that's came off of it. Like I said, still, still need to get a starter out of this. Just to make it worth it in my mind. I'll probably still get those two, uh, the Dragonair and the Dutini, created just because they're still pretty cool cards. And they look in pretty good shape. Alright, so another invasion over here. New friends. Another clones. <laughs> Alright. So we've pulled all three back to back to back. How cool is that? Stage three, Dragonite. That's really funny. But it's, it's, it's super cool. I'll probably get all those graded and I'll probably just sell them together in one lot so they, uh, they can have them all together. Is this an insert? Another insert? Oh, there's a hollow. Oh, cool. Gotta catch them all. Tops trading card hollow. It's actually like... Really cool. 
I mean, how awesome would this be to set with your, your cards, you know, slabbed up? Pretty excited about that one. And then we have another insert. So these are actually stickers. Interesting. Put some of these on your water bottle if you're feeling up to it. Whatever. I really wonder if you could get something like that graded. And then we've got a Charizard with his head stuck in. Is that it? Nope, there's one more behind it. There we go. And then Meowth times two. All right, so might get that Charizard graded as well just because it, it is a Charizard. All right, last pack. Oh, there's another Dragonite on the back. Battle before lunch. Introductions. Awesome looking Mewtwo and some battle armor. Looks like someone straight off of like Halo. Racing cheek to cheek. Success. So you got Charizard's lower end hanging down. Looks like he's about to smash, old boy. And then the last hollow. Ooh, is it another is a hollow Charizard. Awesome. So it's the exact same card, but in hollow. And then we've got another Dragonite, which I'm happy with. So let's take a look at this guy. So hollow itself, super clean. I don't see any print lines or anything, but you do have obviously the corners or the, the edging. The corners are nice. The corners are nice and sharp. But you've got, you know, just the edges, which is the cut. I don't know how PSA grades these. I've never graded a tops card, so it'll be interesting to see. But I hope you guys like this video. Tell me what you guys think of tops. Obviously, this isn't the big top set. You've got other the the big ones, which if you go and look at the prices right now, is going to be Chrome. Uh, just like I saw like a booster box of that sell for, I want to say it was like seven grand or something recently. Uh, it might have been a PWCC auction. I can't really remember. Uh, but Chrome's the big one. This is this is the small change one, but still really cool cards. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Good luck out there.